gmail.com. My email address is scarcellvideo at gmail.com. Have you ever found something on YouTube that you really enjoy and the, get, the, the presenter really did a great job presenting the product? Well, I found this product made by Dremel. It's a Dremel dust blower number 490. I ran across this video from a gentleman named Jeff Fur. J-E-F-F-F-U-R-R -R. and I'm going to give a review of this item and I would encourage you to go over to his YouTube channel and watch his actual project that he makes. Very very nice project, very, very well done so I would encourage you to, to check him out and subscribe to his channel and please if you like my channel please go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button below Send any comments to the comment section below. I would appreciate you watching. Thanks. Okay, in this short video, we're going to be using the OEM Tools Rotary Tool. Not because this is my favorite tool, but this is the one I had out and ready to use at the time. This is a, a great tool. I did give this a great review and a great thumbs up on this tool. So if you're interested, Go back and watch my previous video on OEM Rotary Tool. We're going to be doing a quick review on this dust blower. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to the camera. Here we go. See how that looks. Cool. Okay, we're going to open this up. This is uh, Dremel number 490 and for what I've seen in the in Jeff Fur's video this is an excellent excellent accessory that you'll love to have so get this out of the way okay here's the how it looks round on one end very very simple design now I'm going to put this in the end of this rotary tool here and you'll notice I am not using the quick change or keyless wrenchless chuck on this tool and I'll tell you why in just a second. I'm going to put in the correct collet on this. Now when you screw this down, it comes with its own threads on here. So a, a uh, wrenchless keyless chuck won't work with this. That's the only drawback, but it's not a negative. So I'm going to insert a round head carving bit well let's do this first I'm going to take this off put this keyless collet on here keyless keyless jaws and show you what we're talking about. It might be better explain it this way. Make sure everything's tight. Correct. Now you'll notice The dust stays right here on the workpiece. So I'm going to take this bit out, take off the keyless wrenchless chuck, 
put the collet in, screw on the dust blower, insert this back into here. Now I'm going to show you, once I turn it on, the blower blows away every bit of the dust after, after you're carving. of wood here. Maybe you get a better view of it. Turn that off. As you can see it blows away every bit of the dust. I'm going to put a sanding drum on there so you can see that also. Okay, here's the sanding drum I'm going to put on. Take this carving round burr out. I'm going to put the sanding drum in. Tighten it up. Let's show you how this works. Turn this up a little bit higher here. Very, very nice accessory. I would give this a two thumbs up. If you get a chance, leave a comment below. And I would like it if you subscribe to my channel and please check out Jeff Fur on his review on this dust blower and the project that he makes. Very, very nice project. I'm sure you'll like it. Appreciate you watching.